completely editable within VR. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like here. And wow, I'm in the middle of a uh, VR enabled world. So as I'm editing my little room here, I can go ahead and have all the tools to be able to get around, add assets, like if I want to go ahead and put a chair down here, I can go ahead and do that. I can go ahead and easily change colors and textures. And as a matter of fact, I can even delete things and move them around. So as a developer, this gives me a really unique experience that I don't have to go ahead and guess on what my users are going to be seeing. I can develop in first person the same perspective that my users are going to be using this sort of content. So it looks like I have my room the way that I want it. However, what I really want to do is rebake the lighting to finalize the scene. So as I've removed some things over here, I'm actually seeing the shadows and everything. So I can change back and see the whole dynamic lighting for the scene. But this is really CPU intensive. So we're actually doing a complete light render on all the changes that we just did. So as a developer, we're really showing how this performance is going to help you get to time to market and finish your projects. And to illustrate that point, over here I have a 6th generation core 6700K, our latest and greatest quad core. And I'm going to go ahead and I have them in identical spots here and same objects for the scene. Now I'm just going to go ahead and rebake the lighting here in both. So I'll start the uh, 6700 here first. Okay, and then I'll move over to our Broadwell. And as this guy starts baking our scene here, I'm going to bring up the progress bar so we can see the progress as it goes through. And just like that, 20, 50, 60, done. So I almost made it to 10%. Yeah, you're going you're to take a little while on that one. So we're looking at way over 2x, and this is just a small sample size. So in core count alone, we're really seeing a huge improvement that's only going to increase the delta as we add more and more items to our virtual world. But Brian, you, you don't just pay me to watch movies. No, I like a little more. <laughs> but I do other stuff. All right, so let's talk about content creation for a second. So let's take a look at all these little devices here. I've got point and shoots, action cams, stands, I've got 360 cams, I've even got six GoPros in one to create a 360 degree, and then of course you see these drones that are shooting 4K. So we're talking about tons of storage. And what do we have to do with that storage? Well, we have to put it on our PC. And so I went around San Francisco yesterday, I shot a couple of hours of footage with my GoPro in 4K, and I wanted to show on the same 7th gen system just how beautifully our GoPro Studio can handle this in its 4K UI. We're able to look at individual videos, we're able to put them together, add a template, add music, edit on the fly, and we can do it all from our backpack, which is really, really great taking it anywhere. So, content creation, movie watching, 4K, 7th generation's got us covered, Brad. That's exactly. amazing. I mean, I usually do that, turn it on overnight, and come back in the morning and hope it's done. That's right, and now with all the bells and whistles and, and quick sync technology, we, 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 we can get it done now. We'd probably be coming back tomorrow to see the final result of something like this. So, so that's the 4K story. Now, before I go, Brad, you know, I can't, can't leave without touching on gaming. And you know I'm always pushing the boundaries of processor graphics. And so I have something really, really special to show everyone, but instead of me talking about it, why don't you just take this for a spin. So this is a 7th gen power Dell XPS, and it's using processor graphics, i5 ultra low voltage to play Blizzard's latest and greatest title, Overwatch. And as you can see, it's... It's played it really pretty well, which is great, awesome. So, Brian, what do you think? I mean, it's really smooth. It's fine. Go ahead and take a spin so everyone can just kind of see how smooth that is. And it looks like you got your special ability. Why don't we go ahead and hit that? So he's a pro. We've been practicing a little bit, so. So that's processor graphics on the new 7th gen. It looks pretty good, right? The latest fantastic. Device. Thanks a lot, Chris. It's yeah. a great example of what Cabby Lake and 7th gen can really do for us. Excellent. Thanks, Brian.